Is this thing on? And now, to the millions and millions of listeners and viewers all across the world, it's the That's Not Christian Podcast. Hey, hey, hey. let's Ooh. go, man. Hey, baby, you know what it is today, right? What's Does that? everybody know what it is today? It's TNC's oh. anniversary, baby. <laughs> you know what it is. <laughs> we here, it's your boy Switch. I'm here with your boy Jay. I'm here with your boy Jimmy, and I'm here with your boy Ant. And what's going on, fellas? <laughs> what about, did y'all hear uh, Dayton's verse that he had recently posted on IG? He was going to have a pushback over that. Mm-hmm. I heard that, John. Uh-huh. Did you y'all see it? the comments? Yeah. What you I talking didn't, about? I, 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 well, I'll tell you what I thought about it. I I think we need to get a, get out of our feelings, man. Like, people can't what, have opinions. And I'm like, that's man. That's what Brian so, Kasari was saying. So yeah. Dayton got his opinion and his take, and we mad? Like, mm. if you don't agree, just say, all right, well, you know, brother brother said X, Y, and Z. I don't necessarily agree, but it is what it is. I don't know what's, what's all the feelings about. I'm kind of, I'm over that. <laughs> mm. Yeah, people sounded tender. Like, man, you disappointed me, bro. Like, right. what's just like, okay. Yo, yeah, so I'm not, I'm not familiar. I'm not familiar with with uh, Dayton and what his verse was. But can you guys just explain and for the listeners and viewers as well? Um, who heard it? Anybody in here heard it? How many of y'all? Heard, well, I know Josh, right? Brook Nam. Anyone else heard that verse? From I heard Dayton it. That he posted on his IG recently. I heard it. You heard so it. So I right? guess the direction was basically about racism in America, right? That's like the summary for it, pretty much. And people were giving pushback because this came out, I guess, during this whole Breonna Taylor situation that, that's been going on. And some people's pushback is kind of like you're uh, dating, you're kind of pushing the agenda of what's going on in the world right now kind of thing. Yo, can so, I interject? Can I interject yeah, real quick? Yeah, yeah, so I'm going I'm to tell you what I liked about it is and what most people didn't pay attention to. And I was kind of surprised by because I'm not going to lie. When I heard it, I was like, yo, where's he going with this? But he was balanced and that he did cover the fact that some people have bad interactions with cops and that's their view of cops. And some people don't. Both those stories don't make the other one untrue. And he kind of covered mm. that. So I was like, yo, that's that's actually a balanced approach. Now, he said some things that I'm kind of like, eh, but like I said, everybody has opinions. Right. Mm. True story. So what, what was some of the pushback that he got? Uh, basically, like, you, basically, this was the thing. I, I think some people, when they heard it, they related, you know, because of this whole situation, people feel like it's police brutality. It's not always related to racism. But like Brooknam said, he said it was balanced at the end of the day. It wasn't just about the situation that's going on, even though I don't even think he even mentioned the situation. But it was more so of the issues that go on on a day to day between uh, police and and um and, you know, minorities, you know what I'm saying? Right, and, right. you know, he's been very vocal about his experiences, you know, same yeah. way like you, Jimmy, like you've been vocal about your experiences. Ant has been vocal about his experiences, you know what I'm saying? So I think that was his approach. But, you know, when you're doing the lyrics and you're rapping, you know, it come off a certain way and right, people might right. take it a certain way. You got to really listen and pay attention to what's going on, you know? Yo, I'm scrolling through his IG and I'm seeing mad people say, wow, yeah, follow it. <laughs> Yeah. And what's crazy is that they got yeah. a him about the COVID stuff when he was yeah. like, yeah, I caught COVID. You know, you guys got to be careful. Right. And they were like, oh, you working with the government kind of thing. Like they were just <laughs> trashing this dude. Like Illuminati yeah, confirmed. You, you working with the Illuminati, huh? <laughs> you down with this fake virus. <laughs> this man is like, yo, I just I was, me and my wife was sick and they still right. was like, nah, you wasn't sick. You can't, you ain't have COVID. Stop lying. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. That dude. I mean, I I listened to it. I thought I thought he did his thing on it, but um, like you said, I guess people felt like he was fanning those flames of 
you know, police brutality and everything going on. I mean, I yeah, I, some people are talking about like you know pushing that victim mentality in the comments, and you're right. pushing fear, you're like unnecessarily pushing this fear of police that you know doesn't need to be there, and you know those are some of the things I read in the comments. Like overall, I was surprised there was a lot of comments though. It was like, man, oh, really? Man. Y'all ain't got nothing else to do? But he <laughs> was writing paragraphs on his Instagram. Like, sheesh. I hope, that I, like, y'all were typing all that on the phone or y'all was on the keyboard? So, yeah. so these people, are they like uh, MAGA people or what? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I mean, I haven't seen no <laughs> That's MAGA, what we're going. Oh, man. That's people. where we going, huh? man. Hey, shout out to the MAGA people. We love Hey. Them. Hey, let the record show it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> well, these people part of the platinum plan. Hey, is that what's going on? That, that, I think it's yeah, crazy that, that five hundred billion that um people would be like, "Let me unfollow because oh, I don't yeah. agree, or I don't like you, or you disappointed me," and blah blah blah. Like, uh, obviously, we're we live in a world with people with different opinions, but when it comes to like the chh christian hip-hop community you would expect us to have like more mercy and grace and all of that good stuff and just walk in love and like if you disagree with the next person that shouldn't be like oh you know I, you disappointed me and stuff like that if that makes me look at that person like you're looking at these artists like they're your like like their relationship with god is your relationship with god and it's not that's not right. true like or you're looking at these artists like they're your god and they're not like right. it's crazy to me how how um out of pocket these people get on the internet it it's just wild and i don't know that's that's really crazy that people would be like let me unfollow you or you disappointed me like <laughs> god forbid that we have a, a you know different beliefs and, and stances on certain things like the I don't know I just always think about um when in the bible when it talks about the body and how everybody's purpose is different and you know the eyes and the hands and the feet like hello we're gonna be different like focus on what God told you to do and I'll focus on what God told me to do and if you know, for if if within that we're not, you know, perfect and we make these mistakes, like we're gonna have to answer to God for that. You're not like you know what I mean? I don't know. Sure, I, don't. <laughs> I co-sign that. I co-sign that. I think I think we at a point right now where especially as Christians, like I have you know, like I said, I have some issues with some things he said, but I would never I would never vocalize that in a public sphere because this is a brother in Christ. So unless I'm in a I'm in a space where I could say this to him directly and then discuss it in a public sphere, right. I'm going to be quiet. And I don't I don't I think even if I had the opportunity to talk to him, I wouldn't say those things in a public sphere. If it's not about sin, if the brother's not in open sin, all right, well then we good. Right. Right. And I always think about like one time me and Bree were talking and she told me that she quoted this pro- verse in Proverbs and I literally, it stuck with me every single time and people don't know how to keep their mouth shut. Right. So <laughs> I'm just like, I always think about like, it is to one's glory to overlook an offense. And I just think that people get offended super easily and they always feel like they have to react and they always have to say something. Mm-hmm. And it's like, sometimes you could just keep your mouth shut and keep if you moving. felt offended, it is to your glory. If you just overlook it, just be quiet. <laughs> Facts. Agreed. People, people, Facts. people mm-hmm. personalize your political stance, and it's like, Uh-oh. like you know, you, like you mentioned, um, Uh-oh. we're the fam, right? We family, right? So, bars. Ooh. 